Welcome to episode three of Hidden Spaces and Secrets of Epiphany. I'm Pastor Mark Rossington, and I'm going to take you on a tour of a place a lot of you have not seen, and that is my office here at Epiphany. And yes, my desk always looks like that. I always try to clean it off at the end of the day, so I come into work the next morning with a clean slate. There's my Brooks Brothers briefcase. It's a prized possession of mine that my family gave to me for my birthday several years ago. As you can tell, I use Apple here at church, and ironically, I use Windows at home. There's extra lighting for Zoom calls, so my face isn't dark. And I've learned to do that, and I've learned another power tip about Zoom, and that is when you're not talking, mute the microphone so there's not feedback in the background. Here are books that I still use for sermons and Bible studies and to look things up. I've given away a lot of books in the last 10 years because so much is available online. Here are my family pictures. Here's a Lego set that my kids put together for me. And here's a picture of them when they were very young and they visited me at a fire station. As you know, I'm a fire department chaplain. And here's a picture of Disney's first animated character, Oswald the Crazy Rabbit, and he drew him before Mickey Mouse. My daughter and I are big fans of him. Here's baseballs that we've gotten at Chase Field attending Diamondback games. Here's a postcard from Southern California where I grew up, and when I left Zion Lutheran Church and Schools in Anaheim as their senior pastor, my congregational president gave that to me so I would not forget my California roots. Early on in our marriage, Allison gave this to me. It means a lot to me. I used to run at the time, and I was running half marathons and ran a marathon. And it is determination. The race is not always to the swift, but to those who keep on running. And how true that is during this pandemic. Picture of my best friend and me. Picture of Allison when we first started dating. And here's a nice plaque that the congregation gave to me in commemoration of my 25th anniversary of my ordination. And here's a lot of books over here that I don't use that I need to go through. And we'll probably give away a lot of those because they're available online. Here's one of two atomic clocks in my office. If you don't know why I have atomic clocks, watch episode two of the sacristy. My college diploma now known as Concordia University, Irvine. My first master's degree, and that school's now known as Trinity Law School. And then my Master of Divinity from Concordia Theological Seminary. And here is my class picture of my seminary class. And if we zoom on in here, this is one of two times I ever wore a black clerical collar. And that's me in 1993. My ordination certificate, so you know I'm officially a pastor. And then over here is my redecorating project that I started in January 2017. And I still haven't put up pictures of hiking here in the local mountains of the Sonora Desert that I want to have up on the wall. Now let's go and see what's behind this door because it holds my most prized secret. Look at all those boxes of paper. I am the world's worst filer, and I have no idea what this metal box is used for. Here are the microphones that I use on Sundays, extra batteries. Here are my vestments. As you know, I put on my vestments in my office, not in the sacristy. Here's a mirror so that I can look sharp and be reminded that I need to go back on keto and lose weight. And let's find out what's behind this door. The last secret of my office, it is a private bathroom. So let me close the door here. And that is episode three of Hidden Spaces and Secrets at Epiphany, my office. Have a great day.